Hi Nail Lovers and welcome back to my channel once again. We're following on from our Easter nail design. I thought I'd do this little nerdy chick design and show you how I did it. So if you want to see how it was done, just stay tuned. So we are starting off using our nail trainer again for tutorial purposes and I have just applied some tips using a, some forms and a cover pink and we are going to put two coats of this yellow lemon from Elite 99 and in the description box below I will list where I got them and the colour number also. So once it's cured, we're going to use this Paradise Nail Glitter to apply over the nail. Now it does look um, white in colour here, but in fact when you put it on, it's a goldy colour. Now I will put links again below on where I got it and the name of the colour too. So you're just going to apply this loosely over the top and they will, then we'll rub it in with that um, Magpie Glitter applicator and clean up any mess with their duster brush as well. It has more of a powder like consistency than a glitter consistency so it um, burnishes in really easily and it's quite smooth and just using the duster brush then it comes off quite easily as well. Now I forgot to do the thumb when I was using the spatula um, so I'm just going to dab it in with the applicator brush and it's simple to do so this method as well. And you can really see the top of the brush there, how glittery this actually is. So we're just going to use um, the Magpie cleanup brush there to wipe off any excess to try and get it back into the pot. So we are just going to clean off the plate with some pure acetone. It will remove any oil substances, dust or grit from the air. Now I have already used this plate, so I had previously removed that protective layer, but the Lena plates have a clean protective film over it, as opposed to um, the blue that many other companies use. So you just need to watch out on that if you are going to uh, get any of the Lena plates. But as you can see, it picks up fine. We're just going to remove the bits that we don't want um, with a lint roller and we can just apply them to the nail there.
and using this very fine detailer brush we are going to paint in the little chick they will paint his beak in orange and we'll paint his body in blue and we will do the same with um the mass chick in which we will paint all their little beaks in orange we won't paint them in at all and we'll just paint him in the blue so they stand out using that glittery gold background that we have stamped and glittered onto the nails We're just removing the parts of the image that are picked up around the edges that we don't need before we go and start to colour in the parts that we do need. So now that all our colouring in is done, we would just apply a quick drying top coat to all the decals and allow that to dry to the tacky just before it dries completely where it's just that little bit tacky and then we'll be able to apply it to the nails once it's that small bit tacky but if it dries completely it won't adhere to the nail. So this is the final nails just before I put the top coat on and I think they turned out really well. Now unfortunately my Elite 99 top coat is actually all gone so what I'm going to do is apply a small drop of the OPI top coat onto the nails but use my Elite 99 bottle brush because I do not want my OPI covered in that glitter um, that we used. And once that's done on all five fingers, I would then cure it for one minute and then I would repeat um, a second coat of top coat on the nails and then we are all finished.
Now just using your cleanse wipe, I would just wipe off that tacky layer. I'd also just run the wipe right up the finger as well, just to remove any glitter off the hands. Now obviously I wouldn't do this with a real client. I'd only do it with my fake friend here, um, a real client. I would just get them to wash the hands and then I will apply some cuticle oil as I am doing here with the fake friend. So if you like these nails and if you like this tutorial, please guys give me a thumbs up. I'd love to get to 100 this time around. Um, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos coming up very soon. So until the next one guys. Bye.